Okay, you punk motherfucker, the coward that gets pushed up on and abused by people and obliges. Heard a little bit of new stupid shit this asshole is saying. First, let's take it back. Um, When I was uh, doing my video, uh, somewhat, you know, rest in peace to Hope and all that. I did that video because the video prior to that, I kind of like mentioned her in reference to her dude, uh, Byron. And I was saying, you know, not like, purposely intentful hurtful shit i was just saying i feel like smacking y'all niggas that talk this other coward ass niggas lingo and all that type of shit and it was definitely wrong place wrong time of course i didn't know hope had passed or whatever so again shout out to bomb ramir uh hold your head rest in peace to hope shout out to everybody that uh that rocks with her and everything so this dude is gonna say that uh first i was about to mention what's this other girl jamila or something and then i didn't mention it i don't know what the fuck you talking about i don't know i wasn't gonna mention that woman i don't watch that woman i don't know what what she be on you know what i'm saying respectfully when her shit come on like if you play it or someone else or it pop up to me that shit is like watching mash as soon as i see that helicopter that song i'm changing the channel respectfully i mean i think she got like over twenty five thousand subscribers so she has an audience she has a lane that stuff just isn't for me so i wouldn't even know what she says but this nigga trying to make it about no what i was talking about was you the first words that came out of you, out of your mouth in reference to this young lady's passing was she she loved me more than all of y'all what that's just like in bad taste now i understand you said that Cause I was watching Rio's joint and he had the girl Tina on there and she was kind of crying. But then she said, we know hope she will want us to keep cooking that bum. <laughs> so that's what dude said that other shit. Now one can argue that that was in bad taste too. Albeit I say, yeah, I, it could be translated that way, but that shit was mad funny. I was rolling. <laughs> she was went to crying. You know, not laughing at her crying and her emotion, but even <laughs> through that, through the drudgery, she was like, yeah, Hope would want us to keep cooking that bum, and you know it, and you know it, and you know I know it. So I thought that shit was funny. But what's in way worse taste is you of all people, after she done met the gentleman Byron Mir, which just recently came out, they met up last year, whatever. So he's an actual, real, legit friend, more than a friend, whatever to her. And you have the nerve to say she loved you more than anybody else? Well, how come she ain't meet your, your ugly, stinking ass? But you know what? Part of that, if you really want to get deep with it, because you always like to say this, yeah, I think she did have some type of feelings for you. That's probably why you hurt her the most given her naked pictures that she gave to you and your for you by you fubu your eyes only and pass them around to other people straight violations straight foul making songs about her health issues that she likely have pa have passed from you had songs about that straight violation straight disgusting and you on this thing trying to clap at other people for what they doing what they saying or whatever i didn't hear you one time take account for the bullshit that you did and that's the biggest problem with you that's why i'll smack will at some point smack fire out your fucking ass you do the most in the worst ways you do the most of the worst and do the accountability of it the least. Not even the least, not at all. Offset it on other motherfuckers. Be the nigga in the cut doing sideways shit and then put it on the other person that, that you think you playing chess and you got them on front street and you think you're morally secure and guarded because you doing shit behind the scenes. No, you the biggest coward. You the biggest shithead and you the biggest piece of shit. And then on another joint, this nigga's gonna say, talk about, um, I guess these other two girls or whatever was, as I kind of put it, step, stepping on Hope's grave and all that. And saying that I went at them lightly and it was weird. No, what I did was just straight up truth. I don't got a reason to go at them and point the finger and admonish them for, for what they doing. You know why? Because I don't fuck with them people. There's always going to be people that's going to do bullshit. Did I like hearing either one of them talk bad about that young lady? No, I personally found it utterly disgusting. But why would either of them care if I find it utterly disgusting? Why would anyone 
care. I'm not, you know, I don't mix with them niggas. As much as you like to put all these people in a pool and call it a stupid ass name and all that shit, that does not make it so. I do not communicate with them motherfuckers like that. I don't even like them motherfuckers. Should they give a fuck if I like them or not? No. And what I heard them say, it just solidified, hey, there's a good reason not to like them even more. Oh, word. I just sit back like a scientist and study the human behavior. So, yeah, it's not my place to say you shouldn't say that. But it's also not my place to point the finger at the people that are saying that they shouldn't say that. Because that's what they're compelled to do. Just like them dogging the girl out, hating, whatever you want to call it. That's what they're compelled to do. It's human shit. That's what humans do. You got good ones. You got bad ones. There's a whole lot of bad shit going on. That's why a lot of times the good ones decide to get about this piece. You know, young lady Hope, rest in peace. But she may, oop, oop, money talking. Oh, what's this here? Let me see. Am I going to do this? Shop and pay. Oh, shit. Yep. Yeah. Little side, sideway money and shit, right? And wrap this shit up. Yeah, so that's why a lot of people check out of here. That might be her. She happened to check out uh, on the day or the night of the shiny Star Spangled Banner. And I'm not making jokes. I'm not making light of it. I'm just talking on a spiritual level. I believe our higher selves, they already know what they came here to do, what they came here to learn, to get, and then to keep it on moving. Don't stop. Oh, you know what I mean? So just to to to, to bring a, a sense of peace and a sense of purpose when people pass especially when people that you know are commonly considered good around the board you know what i mean but all that bullshit you talking no i didn't hear those two girls talk that dumb shit on your show no there's other people on the thing sometimes shit don't pop up pop up on the screen i don't even be subscribed to them but since i watch this or i watch that then that shit pops up and i'm like oh you talking about young lady that passed let's hear what you got to say oh you want some bullshit okay that's what you want to do do you but yeah the main purpose of what i was saying the only thing i was kind of shaking a finger at them is just like how i can't tell them motherfuckers what to say don't be saying oh other people are fake they're showing love to her if you could show your hate and you got your lane to do that they got their lane to show love whether they had a beef with the young lady or if they loved her all the way or problems or this and that you can't dictate if they have a right to feel bad or to express uh some type of emotion or positivity or rest in peace um um condolences and stuff like that that's their business just like you could get on there step on a grave and say this one smut i ain't even gonna repeat the shit but yeah just like you could do that they could do that do that do that do do that 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 motherfucker